You know, if I never hear the word fun uttered ever again by someone trying to describe their experience with a movie, I'll be a happy man. When I say something like film criticism is dead or dying, this is the type of sh** that I'm talking about. Yet I will inevitably still have someone in the comment section of this video, who probably didn't even watch the video, saying aren't you the guy who attacks everyone that you don't agree with? No, I'm the guy who calls out dumb ass reviews and reactions that consistently and repetitively use words like fun to describe their experience. Because apparently that's the only word that these people have in their vocabulary. If I've said it once, I've said it a million times. When people overuse a word like fun to describe a movie, red flags start going up everywhere. Because we all know that fun is just a code word for zero substance nine times out of ten. It's used when people are trying to mask the fact that they just watch a movie that has zero chance of sticking with you long after you see it. And now we have the first Godzilla and Kong The New Empire reactions coming out. And I'll give you one guess what was the most commonly used word in all of these reactions. Let's discuss. I watch so you don't have to. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. So as I was scrolling through social media, I started to see reactions to the new Godzilla and Kong movie coming out this week. And needless to say, those reactions were predictable. You're pathetically predictable. Like this reaction from Griffin Schiller, who said, Godzilla and Kong is an atomic blast, a fantastically weird, psychedelic trip through the Shawa era, with all the vibrance of an 80s album cover. This thing is an absurdist romp, crimson apes, frost dragons, a delightfully absurd Dan Stevens, another fun entry in the MonsterVerse. So what I gathered from this reaction is that this movie is bright, colorful, and most likely completely ridiculous. And it probably has a lot of the bells and whistles that a lot of modern movies have to distract audiences with short attention spans, including Marvel-esque quirky characters who will most likely be nothing more than a vessel to deliver cringe comedy. Have you ever heard of the healing power of laughter? <laughs> Next, we have Epic Film Guys who said Godzilla and Kong is a vibrant, action-packed, monster-loaded slugfest, a literal translation of an exciting theme park ride put to screen. Wingard pulls no punches in delivering the gargantuan goods. The most fun I've had with the MonsterVerse so far. Now I understand that most people go to see these movies to see big monsters fighting and nothing more. But is it really too much to ask for a filmmaker to give me a reason to give a shit about why they are fighting? I have a sneaking suspicion that there's not going to be a good reason for me to care once I actually see this film. Also, this account literally uses theme park ride in his reaction. Someone please call Martin Scorsese and say that the biggest criticism that he's lobbied at modern films is now being used as a positive. He wins again. Man, I'm tired of being right. As far as the notion that this is the most fun this person had in the MonsterVerse yet, all I can say is that if you take a look at where we came from in this universe, where it started, with movies like Godzilla 2014 and Kong Skull Island, it's hard for me to comprehend how a movie like this is in the same universe as those movies based on what I've seen so far. Just a completely different tone from what was established early on in this franchise. Next we have Guy at the Movies who says, Major Monster Mayhem. Godzilla and Kong is an absolute blast that puts the Titans front and center. Incredible action, solid story for the human characters. I had a smile on my face the entire time. Adam Wingard just gets it. Fun at the movies. I think this movie is going to run into problems when we've already seen how Godzilla Minus One elevated this genre just last year. Now I understand that they are supposed to be two completely different takes on this property. But for me, it's hard to go back to McDonald's after I just ate filet mignon. So good. We are talking about a movie with Minus One that elevated Godzilla and elevated the human characters to the point that I actually cared about what was going on. Imagine that. 
And guess what? I had a lot of fun watching what was undoubtedly a much better film than we're going to be getting this weekend. Then we have Sammy J, who says Godzilla and Kong is everything you could want from a Shawa era inspired kaiju film. Insane action and loads of fun. It leans heavily into the lore and sci-fi elements of the MonsterVerse. Kong's the heart of the movie with Godzilla providing the brawn. You see, I can already see through this and see the groundwork of excuses being laid for this film. When people are going to tell me that I took this movie too seriously, and it's meant to be a throwback to the Monster Mash films of yesteryear. And again, I'm going to ask the question, why is it impossible for them to do that and also deliver a competently made film. Why are you the way that you are? This person says that Kong is the heart of the film. That's great, but in what capacity? Is it based on cheap attempts to make me care about his species using a baby Kong? Or some other gimmick that I guarantee you is not going to have the same impact on me that it's having on some other people? The truth is, is that this film is going to need to do more. I'm going to expect more regardless of the fact of people telling me that I shouldn't take it too seriously. And who knows, maybe this film will surprise me. I doubt it based on everything that I've seen, but stranger things have happened. And finally, we have the FN Nerds podcast who says, I just saw a reaction to Godzilla and Kong saying they couldn't connect with it on an emotional level. My guy, it's a giant lizard and a giant ape fighting another giant lizard and giant ape. Read the room. Do you go to Five Guys expecting gourmet food? First of all, I don't appreciate the comparison of this movie with Five Guys, but let's move on. Whew. You see what's happening here, right? People are already saying, don't think too much and just consume. It's Ghostbusters Frozen Empire all over again. They are already lowering the bar so when people don't like this film, they could just tell them you don't know how to have a good time. You know what's a good time for me? A good f***ing movie. I'm sorry if I'm looking for a little bit more out of my movie-going experience than a giant ape fighting a giant lizard. I know, I know, then don't even bother watching it, right? Well, it's kind of my job, so I'm going to. And you know what? A giant ape fighting a giant lizard may work for you, it may work for a lot of people, but that doesn't mean it works for everyone. And it doesn't give anyone the right to shame people who might have higher standards walking into this film. Like, me, right? It's like I live in a world where everyone believes that every single movie that comes out deserves some kind of participation trophy. But I can't stress this enough, and this is something that I talk about all the time, it's okay to be critical. It's okay to say that you couldn't connect with this monster movie on an emotional level. Because when movies are at their best, they're supposed to inspire some kind of emotional reaction, after all. Now once again, I'm not shaming anyone who enjoys watching these movies and is looking forward to seeing this one. But I am calling into question these Twitter accounts, or these X accounts, that are getting early access to these films and are basically sharing the same reaction over and over again about every piece of mindless entertainment that comes out. Calling a movie fun at every turn does not mean that it is somehow immune from valid criticism. Read the room? I wish the FN Nerds podcast would read the room and realize that not everyone has the same complacent attitude towards watching films. Imagine this for a second. Nuanced opinions do exist. Apparently just not when it comes to phony, repetitive social media reactions. Y'all be cool. Right on.